VOD review, mm. everything is there on the House of 3000 YouTube channel. I love VOD review. And Ooh. here we go. You, oh. know what, you know what I love is Night of the Wind. Mm. Uh, shout outs to whoever picked this song. John picks bangers. I always assume it's John at this point. Ooh. John doing a good job, though, getting to the ledge there with the three orbs around him. Do you know what the official name of those orbs are? Those are Shadow Flare. Shadow Flare. Good to know. I just call them the orbs. Yeah. Which yeah. is confusing because I think Sephiroth has a move called, like, Dark Materia, which does something similar. What a tech, by the way, from John. I'll shut so up about true. Final Fantasy And War. there's Giga Flare, too. So, what's he doing? Oh, little ledge exchange going on there, but they both find their way back into neutral. John jumping in with the down air, but Justin doing a little get off me forward tilt there. Oh, oh goes the deep. weave from John. So. By the way, for those of you who are just tuning in, this is in fact a uh, revenge matchup from Justin's side. John was the one to push Justin in losers, and it was a a pretty convincing lead from John. So I'm really excited to see Justin coming in with the adaptations, especially coming in with the momentum Ooh. off of his win from EJJ, and we're seeing it right now as he takes first stop. Ooh. And that was a download from Justin, because when we, wa we would go back and watch his games against John from earlier, we saw him charge deep breathing and then air dodge through Justin's forward air. But there, Justin waited it out. He saw the deep breathing, jumped, John air dodged, then he forward air. That was epic adaptation from Justin JPEG in like real time. That is so cool. Ooh, Sun Sal point blank. Not going to be doing it cross stage, <laughs> even with how like Sephiroth is. Octa slash pressure. John not quite having the spacing to punish the re grab with a down tilt. Yeah, and, you know, Justin finding a little 40 of extra credit. I mean, that's a failed grade if you're counting, but this is Smash Bros. Not cool. All right, just quick little neutral air. Punish that deep breathing attempt. Justin oh, going real low. Oh, he goes for the double spike, but couldn't find it. And then Justin going for the spike of his own, but not finding it. And we get a little reset. He'll find that spike on stage. John getting pushed out. Yeah, he had... Ooh, oh, he's, he's still alive. Yeah, just living. Oh, <gasps> oh, what? The soccer ball, I think, triggered I the reflect on the bounce have. back. The soccer ball scientist once again yeah. hoist by his own petard. Yeah. The one petard he thought would never hoist him. Oh, misses the grab on a on a give me up B from John, but is still able to push push him up. Oh that my gosh, so that damage. almost killed! I think if the soccer ball had oh, connected, it would have killed. You gotta tech that dog. You gotta tech that because now John finds a way back into the game, and it was it was definitely Justin's game, Justin's momentum. But one missed tech, and now John can bring this back. But so far, Justin has been doing a great job controlling the off stage controlling the tempo and not letting John get into any advantage state. I don't, I, we've barely seen John in advantage state this game. So yeah. good job from Justin. And I mean, this is what we've been saying all night is if you're going to go off to try and edge guard John numbers, you've got to have the tool set and the confidence. Mm. And right now, Justin is showing that confidence. Just making sure that John is not able to get comfortable at the ledge, making sure that the resources that he get off, that he gets off of each ledge interaction oh. is minimal. What did that hit? I don't know. It hit it hit John's soul. Yeah, for real. It hit Wee Fit's aura. It hit the deep breathing. <laughs> You've been breathing too deeply. Yeah. I, her, yeah. The arms, her arms yeah. were outstretched. Her dangly arms. She Look at yeah. she fell too daintily. Uh, yeah. Her fingertips he cut he cut her nails. <laughs> No reaction. That's that. That's what you get when you try and Whoa. land with perfect form. Yeah, that's crazy. But there we go, Justin. If he wins this game, we get the true finals reset, which would be very cool. John Numbers, it's his goal to let that not happen. He gets a deep breathing up early, find a little grab combo Ew. there. Yeah. Eighty-five. Yeah, way to wait out the air dodge there to find that nair, but that was crazy Gross. making the most of deep breathing. John maybe getting the download after game one just had to just had to remember. Oh yeah, this is how I beat you the first time. Ever. Yeah, and I mean that is important to mention is John does have the game advantage to just have the time to just get that download going. Falling this is there. John at a you know winner's side grand finals 
local on a rainy night, this is where he's at his most powerful. Wow, he just grabbed that legend time. Doesn't matter. Justin doing a good job closing it out with that back air. Taking the stock from John, resetting it back to even. Yeah, once again, capitalizing on the ledge situation in a situation that most players would not be able to do against John numbers. That's usually John's place to be. But if you're able to find the stocks out of it, Justin may in fact be taking us to that true finals you were talking about. Yeah. But here we go, looking for that jab, but not enough. Oh, good F smash for the punish there on the miss counter, falling up air. John makes these falling up airs look amazing. He never misses them when he throws them out. No air dodge, no jump. Just Justin knows it. Oh, misses the, the back weave. air. But gets clipped by the Octo Slash, unfortunately not able to find a reversal. Oh my gosh, the a crawl. low profile on the back air. Is that Squirtle? <laughs> Squirtle wishes he had a crawl that good. Yeah, for real. Ooh, deep breathing forward tilt. And he was at like 90 and almost died from across the stage, but not enough to find the kill. The Sun oh. Salutation's gonna do it! I'm shocked that killed. He was at 108 and that went mid-stage. Sephiroth, so light. Yeah, Justin, unfortunately, F-tilting the wrong way, finding a Sun Sal for his troubles. And John now one stock away from evening this grand final set. Yeah, nice parry from the back air by John, but then an even better mix up with the down air from Justin. And yeah, slashing through the sun sal. Uh oh. Just yeah. slicing the sun in two. This Centella is just not working against what the, the hula hoop. What? What was that? Run it back, says I, Justin. Mm? I'm fired up. I'm mad. I'm mad about the entire ledge interaction. I'm confused. All right, so he makes it through the scintilla. No hit stop yep. on Wii Fit. She's just gone. Soccer. I don't know. I, I don't think know she grabbed why ledge no before it stop. came out. Who? Mm. And then just the Octoslash wasn't quite able to reach. Shade. Sh what? I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was. Yeah. But here we go. Justin, if you want to stay in and you want the reset the true finals, you have to win. John, if you win this, congratulations. You win another Xeno added to the bank account. Pay your rent. Yeah, unfortunately, some shades of, uh, what was it, winner's semis that they fought previously? Yes. Yeah, unfortunately, some shades of uh, game one from, from that set with Justin just kind of SDing with the Octo Slash, mm -hmm. going a little bit too low. Don't want to see that here Ooh. in Grand Finals. We want to see that true nice. finals. No jump coming out. No jump from. Oh, he does have. Wow. He held on to that. Oh my gosh. There. That kills so early, too. It's just, gravy. it's just hula hoops that is special, I guess. Yeah. Ooh. I, I, bet, I bet John knows. That was a crazy parry from John because I was fully expecting a back air from Justin there, but he opted for the falling up air, and John's still finding the parry on that. So good work. But Justin has a little bit of leeway to work with here, only at 84 in his first stock. This is Sephiroth we're talking about in a back air mid-stage with no deep breathing, almost kills. Yep, one wing online, gonna make that recovery a little bit more flexible for Justin, so he gets to hold on to this first stock and maintain this lead. See a little bit of heal Ooh. off the Sun Sal, though. Ooh, makes his way back to stage from deep. John looking for a kill with uh, Sephiroth, or uh, with Justin at 125. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why does Hula? I want. I. I know oh John is gonna come back here once this is done, and is gonna be like, "Well, it's actually the, this property of Hula Hoops that makes yeah. it work." But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like John has the stats. He knows. He knows the properties. Ooh. Ooh, a lot of shield pressure coming out all at once there, but not even close enough to pop it. An air dodge has been burned. John drifting deep, but the Octo Slash has to come out to recover. Still a ledge trap situation for Justin. But you know how John works. Ledgeception. Next thing you know, you're on ledge. All right. John had taken the wide angle around. Still finds his way back to the ledge. We've got deep breathing back on line. Oh, very Ooh, scary situation yeah. for Justin. Only makes it out with like 17% off of that forward air. Oh very lucky God. indeed. John. John slowly clawing his way back into this game three. He is. Ooh. 
crazy forward air from Justin coming out to poke John out of deep breathing. And now they're just playing around with these 50-50s where am I going to air dodge while I'm oh deep breathing God. or am I not? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy from John, and we have an even game in game three. If Justin wins, we get the reset. If John wins, everybody gets to go home. So far, it's turning up John numbers, but with three uh, shadow flares around him, he's able to find the ledge. All right, let's see. Justin still once again looking for that spike off of the down air. One wing is on line, which is almost as good as deep breathing, I would say. Yeah, with the amount of power that it gives you. Soccer ball saving him from getting hit by like a full four shadow player there too. Uh oh, we've seen this before. No tech! The soccer ball? What? No, no, no. Uh, okay. I, I, I don't know. Let us believe. I didn't think the soccer ball was gonna hit him there. I didn't know what was gonna Maybe happen. Maybe it hits him upwards. You know, you, you never know. Soccer ball the, is a weird thing. The soccer ball works in mysterious ways. Yeah. And John Numbers also works in mysterious ways, taking another Xeno, Xeno 340. Good work, John Numbers. Congratulations. Yeah, Congratulations. A hard fought victory from John Numbers. Justin JPEG really came out tonight, but it's just a little bit not not quite enough to make it through the John Numbers. Yeah. I still hate that Hula Hoop does that. I've learned something new about Smash Ultimate tonight, and I dislike it. <laughs> That's how it's been turning up lately. <laughs> yeah, good work. Good work. Justin was doing a great job that whole set, too, just pressuring John off stage. He was confident. He was finding those forward airs, and just wasn't enough, though. You have and to hit those techs. <laughs> you have to hit those techs. If he hits those techs, then maybe you win. And it it really felt at... No. <laughs> no. See? That's why I thought I had faith in Justin there. No techs. No tech. Fortunate. Like the Gimar picture. No tech. <laughs> All right. But, you know, that was a great Xeno. It certainly didn't bomb. Oh, that was a good one. But you should come out to bombs <laughs> every Monday, 7 p.m. The whole thing is $10. All of your matches get recorded. Everything gets recorded. So you have all the VODs. You get all the friendlies for a price that's cheaper than coming to Xeno on Wednesdays, which is something you should probably also do. And where can you find these VODs? Where can you find them that is with House of 3000, NYC's premier production for esports. You can follow them on Twitter, on Blue Sky. You're probably watching us on twitch.tv right now, or maybe you're watching the YouTube VOD. And of course, you can also come to the Discord, come hang out. And if you're feeling particularly generous, you can throw a subscription our way on the YouTube channel or on the twitch.tv. Maybe you've got one of them primes laying around. Yeah, House you of 3000, goaded. Devin, hardest worker we know. You got to get that quad stream up. If you're having an event, you need the quad stream up. You need Devin running it. Yo, you saw those highlights earlier tonight. That is from the level ups in production. That would not be possible without all of the work that gets put into the quad stream, into the recording setup. All of that is possible thanks to House of 3000. Yeah, absolutely. But straying away to some other tournaments that go on, Super Smash Bros at Dave & Buster's, an unorthodox venue, but an awesome, awesome time. I've gone to this tournament. It's a lot of fun. It's free. There's literally a free entry in the top three get prizes. It's everything you could want in a Smash Bros tournament. There's great, there's great competition. It's free. And the venue, Dave & Buster's, although unorthodox, is a very, very nice. And they do a great job running it over there. So if you have the time, it's on Thursdays. Uh, it's at the Dave & Buster's outside of Atlantic Terminal. Pull up. Next one, April 18th. That's tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, it's tomorrow, yeah. But where were we tonight? Tonight we were here at Xeno Weeklies. We are here every Wednesday. Guys, please make sure you are supporting your local scenes. Keep the roof over this Kirby's head back here. And if you want to check it out, uh, obviously we're here at twitch.tv slash house of 3000. You can check out the latest bracket at start.gg slash Xeno. And of course you can follow at Devin3000 on Twitter, who is uh, you know tweeting out all of the matches as they happen and linking it to the YouTube VODs as they go up. Yeah, absolutely. And outside of the Xeno weeklies, there's also the monthly Xeno Saga. It was just this past Saturday. It was an awesome time. Everybody had a ton of fun. And the next one is Saturday, May 11th, right here. 
So you wanna, if you want to come to Xenosaga LIV, you want to live, live just like the live. rest of us. Something I want to I want to point out for yeah. for this Xenosaga, we're doing polls. I'm doing like a round robin of of uh, side brackets. Mm. So you may if if you follow me on Twitter, I saw put up the first poll, which was Squad Strike versus uh, Hazards on Stage List. Um, so we'll be doing like six rounds of polls, and then whoever what is like uh, the most voted for uh, will be the side event for this event. Uh, so I think we're looking at like brawl stage list, hazards on stage list, uh, squad strike, character ban, uh, where you get to like uh, pick ban your. It's like you get to ban uh, characters from your opponent's roster. Uh, I love character ban. You, you, character you ban know, I'm I'm trying to pull for that brawl stage list. Brawl stage list is pretty funny. Um, yeah, I'm also like kind of interested in, personally in the uh, the this like regular hazards on stage list. It's like you replace PS2 with Smattlefield, uh, and then uh, Kalos gets replaced with Northern Cave. Uh, by the way, I'm only pointing that out. Uh, only pointing out Northern Cave is just because it's a side event. Like I understand, like why Northern Cave wouldn't want, would couldn't exist in like a regular main stage. But I think for like this, would be fine. You want a hot take, Devin? Yeah. Uh, ban Squad Strike should be the normal way Ultimate is played. Oh, like pick ban Squad yeah. Strike. Yeah. That's that how is many characters can take. you play? Yeah. It's like, yeah, I got nine characters in my pocket. It's like, okay. I think it's fun. Yeah. But something else that's going to be fun is is Lock Inc. It's actually going to be a tournament going on May 3rd. What's really sick about it is that the top three win a free tattoo for themselves or anyone they choose, but you should not choose anyone else. If you win, you get that smash ball <laughs> on your shoulder. You get that Diddy Kong banana on your calf. You get whatever you're playing. Like, whoever you're playing, you get that tat. You get tatted up. $10 venue, $10 singles. It's going to be a really, really great time. That being said, though, of course, if you bring the uh, you know Smash setup, you do get a $5 discount. So, yeah, registration has opened up as, as of April 1st and closes at the end of the month at midnight. There's only a 42-player cap. So if you're looking to get that extra bit of ink, then get in while, get in while it's hot. Yeah, and if you're an Owen Tour, aka a commentator tonight, <laughs> then <Damn>. then <laughs> then you got to do karaoke. So if you want to hear uh, some amazing voices, not really do some amazing karaoke, you know, pull up. It's going to be a great time, a really really great time. And I think lastly, but not leastly, something that's coming up is set the pace. If I had to imagine, uh, it's going to be April 27th. Ten dollar singles, five dollar person doubles five dollar person venue so it's going to be a really good time i heard that there's a lot going to be a lot of talent there too zamba sonder and fawn are some of the names i'm seeing right here so if you have the time pull up yeah and i think that is going to be it from us i've had a fantastic time coming back here at xeno weeklies yeah absolutely me as well you know the best part about Losing in bracket is getting to come and commentate True. afterward for you guys. So it's been a really great time. Everybody say thank you to Devin. Thank uh, you, Devin. <laughs> and I think we're going to be heading out for the night. Peace out, everybody. Yep, thanks for hanging out. Adios. Good night.